So today we are going to start working on the task analysis, our next step in um, our course project. So for our task analysis, I would like you to uh, create this task flow document. So you're going to have a title page, of course, include your uh, project name and group members. You're going to have a table of contents. Uh, you're going to insert the chosen persona and scenario. So choose one from the group members um, from your previous assignment here. Uh, so each student would have created a persona, uh, but you only need to choose one from many of your, you know, from you probably have two, three to four group members in your group. So choose one only. And uh, it must be, you know, your uh, it must be the task that you are analyzing in this task analysis, okay? So then number four, the last item in your task analysis document would be your task flow or your task analysis. All right, so I'm just gonna show you the example here, all right? So here we have the cover page. Uh, this is from a previous group and then the table of contents, persona and task flow. So here we have the persona um, and then, you know, it talks a little bit about the scenario and, uh, and things that, uh, you know, Jacob Smith, who is the persona, has on his mind, okay? So these are the things that uh, your, you know, the persona that you have created might possibly have these questions as he's, you know, um, working through the task flow, working through his task, all right? And then next you have the task flow here. So I'll just show you an example of what this group has done. So um, this group has created this UML, this diagram here. Uh, to um, to show the different steps that you know he will take and of course uh, each of these boxes here is actually what is on the kiosk or what Jacob Smith sees so just because it's easier to explain it this way so you can explain it all in text or you can show it in a diagram so it's much easier for yourself and myself to visualize um, you know what is happening all right, and because sometimes depending on what what the situation is, he might have to jump around from you know from one slide to another. All right, so let me just walk through some of it. So uh, first, Jacob Smith goes to the screen and he sees customer tap the welcome screen, and then he sees select the language. So the customer have to choose between the language, and these notes here uh, explain that the customer choose between the language English or French, and this would be the language used in the interface, and so on. Um, then the flow will consider that the customer chose English. And then next, the uh, next screen he sees is then uh, the customer would choose between mail or parcel, depending uh, on if he's sending an envelope or a parcel. Okay, so if he's choosing a parcel, which in this case he is, then it goes over here to he sees a screen parcel. Then the kiosk will open the save door and will show on the screen a tutorial on a video tutorial on how to place a parcel. And then the kiosk will scan the box and weigh it and so on. And then after that, the kiosk will ask the customer if you know the parcel will be sent to Canada or outside of Canada. Then he'll be asked for the address, ask for the postal code here, and then have to type in the address inside the search box, hit the search button to find the address with the postal code, select the postal code of matching address, and then he has to write the from address. And then following these steps again, um, okay, then next, skip, skipping over to the shipping type, whether it's priority, express post, expedited, regular. Um, and then the next step is to ask, he's asked whether he wants to buy insurance to protect the order. And then he sees an order summary. Then there's a payment method or um, debit or credit card. And here it explains how this transaction is performed. And over here, um, you know, the label is printed. And over here, it explains how the machine prints the label and how the mail or parcel is deposited. And again, more details here on the side. And the receipt is then printed. Um, and then the finished session here to let, the, uh, let Jacob know that his uh, transaction here has been finished and the session is done. Okay, so take a close look at this document, um, this example that I have posted with the assignment and that should help you. All right, so this is due on Wednesday. If you would like any feedback, please post, um, you know, the initial topics before the weekend so that I can... I can give you my feedback before the weekend and you have the weekend to work on it, all right?